So what we're going to be doing is describing infinite limits graphically, and this is not a very difficult idea. But let, can I stop just for a second and say this to you? I'm begging you right now. Remind yourself. Say to yourself, infinite limits are not the same as limits at infinity. Limits at infinity are in behavior. What happens on the far right or the far left of a graph? Like, is there some behavior, some height that it's going off to, to the far right or the far left? This is not that. This is what happens as the limit goes to either positive or negative infinity. So let's take a look at what that might look like. So here we have this. We're going to do this graphically first. That we decide we're going to do. Um, so here are the graphs. Here are the graphs. So the first graph will be this one, if you don't mind. Will be control division will be one over x minus one. X minus one. Now before I hit enter, what do you think is going to happen? Can you see, uh, just really quickly, can you see that if x was equal to 1, that'd be a problem here, right? x can't equal 1. It would give us a domain issue, um, and it would make the numerator go to 0. So there's a vertical asymptote there by definition, right? So what's going to happen? So I think what's going to happen is that we're going to get some behavior right here. So let's take a look. And there's that behavior. So look what ha happens. And this is what we're supposed to be able to, to talk about is this. So let's see if we can agree. Here's this vertical asymptote right here. Here's this vertical asymptote right here, right? And it does this, right? So as we approach one from this side, look. So here's this vertical asymptote, this value that we're not allowed to get to, right? So we're going to break it up and we're going to name this line x is equal to 1. So there's our vertical asymptote. But look what happens as we approach, right? So let's try to say, well, what's the limit of our function f of x as x approaches 1, check me out here, from values less than 1? That doesn't say negative 1. It says from values less than 1. If it was negative 1, the negative sign would be here, wouldn't it? So this means from values less than 1. So that means I'm, I'm going to approach this line, but I'm approaching from here. These are values less than 1, right? And I'm going to approach the x value 1. And what happens here? What's happening? I start to see it right here, right? Well, doesn't x, I'm sorry, that's not true. Doesn't f of x approach negative infinity here? And then we're going to ask ourselves a similar question on this side. And we're going to say, what's the limit of our function f of x? as x approaches, same thing, approaches 1 again, but this time from values greater than 1. Let me remind you, this does not say positive 1. If it was positive 1, this positive sign would be here. It's from values greater than. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from some value near 1 and say, well, let's try to get towards 1. And what happens? As we get closer and closer to 1, doesn't isn't the height sp spiking like crazy right here? And we can say that f of x here approaches positive infinity. So this is what we're talking about, these infinite limits. Infinitely low here, infinitely high here as we approach a value. Okay, let's try another one. Just one more here and tell me what you think this one's going to do. Um, dun, 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 dun. Let me start this, if you don't mind. I'm going to insert this graph here. Just start anew, if you don't mind. And I'm going to say it's this one. So I'm going to say control division here. I'm using a uh, TI Inspire CAS. It's actually a pretty good calculator. And it's going to be 1 over, and I'm going to quantify this, the quantity, uh, hello, x minus 1 squared. So can you see where the problem is going to be again here? It looks like, again, that there's going to be a problem at 1, isn't there? Now what, what we're interested in is what's going to happen. So Interesting, isn't it? So when we look at this, we look at this, and let's start with this. One thing that we know is that we do, we have a vertical asymptote at one. So if this is what's, sorry, Mr. Illustrator, I apologize. But there's that, right? So there's this broken line that represents our vertical asymptote. This is the line, x is equal to 1. So I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to search this limit. I'm going to say, what's the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 
right? From values, fill in the blank for me, from values less than one. Not negative one, right? Because negative one, the negative sign would be here. And what we're going to do is start really close to the value x here. And we're just going to keep moving towards that value x. And look what happens to the height. I get If I stay on the rail, I get forced to go infinitely high. So we find out that the limit is f of x approaches positive infinity from this side, doesn't it? But what happens on this side? So I'm going to ask the question again. What is the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, this time from values greater than 1? Well, let's see. What, do you, what, do you, what does it look like f of x does? Remember, this is the x value that we're going to approach. So we're going to start somewhere near it, and we're going to stay on our function. And aren't we getting forced to an infinitely high height, right? So we can say again here that the limit as f of x approaches positive one uh, approaches one from values greater than one is positive infinity again, and I should quantify that as positive infinity. All right. Okay. I think that's all I want to say about that. But I want to make sure you see it. I'm going to leave you with this message because I do care about you. Infinite limits are not, you know what, we're math people at school, right? Are not equal to limits at infinity. Different ideas, different concepts. All right? So, good work. Uh, in, in a minute, I think what I'm going to do is go look at this uh, numerically, and we'll prove it. Well, you know what, I'll use the same functions, okay? Thanks for hanging in there with me. Hope the video was good. Please subscribe.